So today we are at RAF Grafton Underwood. We decided against us today, we're going to the countryside during this pandemic. A little building here from my left. Wonder what this could have been. So RAF Grafton Underwood, I'm unsure of when it closed. I'll write it down here below once I've found out and decided to do some research. I know it's split by a road down the middle. So the left hand side of the road is private land. No one's allowed to go on that unless they're naughty. But this side that we're on is actually open to the public to walk and also cars in the summer, I believe. Yes, we are actually allowed to be here, which is uh, quite unusual because normally derelict places are strictly forbidden. Yeah, it's actually really interesting and I'm gonna have a look around and see what's here. Unlike other RAF bases I've been to, like RAF Upward, which, don't get me wrong, are really cool, it's all kind of in one place, whereas here, it's kind of very spread out and scattered about. I mean, this is quite cool behind me, one of the, one of the many towers that lie here. Uh, there is another one somewhere on the edge of the heartwood, I think, but yeah, just have a casual walk around and explore, because that is what life is about. <laughs> So if it's clean, like, uh, give me it. <laughs> yeah, this has got to be our um, shooting thing. This and this looks too modern to be part of the RAF base. Although it could easily fit in well. It's a it looks very military. This is really an adventure right now because I'm surrounded by boggy mud. It's one of them where I'm like, which is the best way to go to this? I mean, I am wearing my my old Vans, so I'm not too bothered. But look at it. It's like. A bog. It could be worse, it could even be more sludgy. It's not as sludgy as it could be. But yeah, let's go grass. Hey. Here we go. Made it onto the grassy land. We're heading to an old farmhouse now, which I don't think is actually part of RAF base, but it's quite close to it. It's very wrecked. It's on every single forum of Grafton Underwood of being farmhouse very wrecked and very dangerous whether i'll go inside don't know about that one it is very uh very bad condition <laughs> let's just say
actually we've got some old uh, farmy barns and buildings which actually are actually in pretty good nick considering the house state hmm should i go through and hope for the best it's quite a few barn buildings actually it's definitely a farm that's for sure <laughs> building behind me. Oh, what's in there, Just Eden? Just a load of bricks. <laughs> yeah. What's this? Uh, just a lump of concrete. Oh, is that part of the chimney? lot of them about a lot of them about watch out tower very cool is there a door so cool i love this place it's just you're finding things one after the other no steps, no steps. is it just like hollow uh, wowee ah oh. yeah no steps in there no more a theater cinema that these have here this is all that remains, this rubble and the foundations. This would have been the door, this would have been the drain pipe. It's quite a sorry sight really, because you think there'd have been a lot of memories, a lot of things happened here, and it's just all bricks. What's that? Tire iron of some sort. Some iron. Yeah, this is the best part sometimes though. Just looking through the rubble, you can find so much like, Stuff, I mean, I know it still looks like a pile of bricks, but you know, over there looks like it's got some interesting things. It might just be like someone's rubbish, but who knows? It's part of an old toilet, mate! <laughs> oh, yeah, it is as well, isn't it? Yeah. Part of a toilet. Oh, I love all the wildflowers, you know, just trying to grow amongst the ugliness that remains. No, oh man, I found a bog at least. Thanks for watching guys, as per usual I completely forgot to do an outro for this vlog in true lols of fashion, but if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already done so, I would really appreciate that. I've also completely forgotten that I didn't film inside the air raid shelters which I'm pretty gutted about, but I'm sure I'll go again after this pandemic is over. Okay, so take care everybody and stay safe.